The cover shoot was overly done. You know, they set up this big display right in downtown square in New York. And you had thousands upon thousands, thousands of people walking by while you're doing the shoot. You know, I'm in this football uniform and people are just looking at you, taking pictures. And once the game did come out, they're saying, who's this guy? You know, Cleveland Brown, white running back, who's this guy? This Hillis is a, a runaway train, he said. He's gonna have nightmares about Peyton Hillis. It was a crazy year that year, because, you know, entering the training camp and, you know, I had big eyes and big dreams. They put me at fullback right away. I was second string. You know, I was never the most athletic or the fastest. I was pretty much always the biggest running back that was on the field at any given time. And so they really didn't see me as a fullback and they really didn't see me as a running back. But um, my dad, he always made sure we're gonna have the best hands or we're gonna be the toughest. Ryan Terrain is down and hurt right now. I think during that year, four or maybe five running backs went down. Well, it has just been a nightmare season. Guys on IR earlier in the week, they're signing guys from the practice squad just to fill out the roster. And Coach Turner, he uh, was my running back coach that time. He sat there and said, hey, I may have to put you in at running back. And I said, Coach, whatever you need me to do and whatever the team needs me to do, I'll do. They're going to essentially play this game without running backs and go to two tight ends and three wides. It was right before halftime, and I just remember he had his hands in his face the whole time, and he got off his one knee and looked up at me, and he goes, you all I got. He goes, get in there. And now they're making yet another move with Peyton Hillis coming in, probably the seventh team running back now for the Denver Broncos. Hillis has the first down right at the teeth of the defense. Peyton Hillis on the run, shouldering Wembley and gets 10. That was when I felt like, you know, that I belonged. In college, he was everything. Uh, H back, full back, running back, wide receiver, so he's always been a versatile player. I showed up for training camp that next spring. I remember I was <laughs> I was laying in my apartment asleep after my workout, and then I heard my name come across the screen that I've been traded to the Browns. The Browns ship Brady Quinn to the Broncos, and in return, Cleveland getting hard-nosed fullback Peyton Hillis. And I, I thought I was having a dream. I was like, this can't be real. You know, that was the beginning of my journey there. Hillis out past the five, into the end zone, touchdown. It was like the perfect storm coming to Cleveland. You know, it seemed like they're in a rebuilding process. I introduced the head coach of the Cleveland Browns, Eric Mangini. Honestly, to this day, Coach Mangini was the one guy that probably had the most faith in me. I think he liked my style. He asked me, how do you feel about being here? I said, Coach, I just uh, want to play. And he looked at me and said, listen, I want you to play running back for me. By week three, I became the starter. In Baltimore, the question is, can the Browns end their recent domination by the Ravens? You now, at that time, life was simple. I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. Boom. Aiden Hillis goes at him hard, a 240-pound back from Arkansas. Hillis finds his way, unlocks the defense. Okay, let's go to work. This guy's good television. You know, every time I carried the ball, things happened. <laughs> this Hillis is a, a runaway train. He's uh, just knocking down defenders from the two-yard line of the Ravens, who haven't given up a touchdown in almost 12 quarters. They just gave one up. Hillis on the payoff I was not ever going to let somebody tap me one-on-one -on -one or somebody bring me down, and that was just my mindset. It's old-time football when Hillis is out there. Woody Hayes would have loved this. Ray, he, he'd always tell me, he's like, you're the hardest guy I ever had to tackle. This Ravens defense is not used to people running like this. Peyton Hillis, 140 yards today. There's a lot of lot better running backs out there than me that probably make that claim. But I thought he meant it when he said it. Here's Hillis, he's wide open. It could be stupidity or it could be fearless. I guess it's a fine line. I didn't notice pain in the way that most guys would. He's just a difficult running back to tackle. He's so big and he's so strong. You know, if somebody got the better of me, I'm gonna go back at him just as hard. Week 10, 11, 12, your body starts breaking down. Last thing you wanna do is hit a guy that is gonna run hard down at you weighing at 245 pounds. I just, don't think anybody wants to deal with that. Five inside the pylon for a touchdown. It was never flashy, but it got the job done. McCoy tries.
tries to get free. Gets it out to Hillis. Peyton Hillis, touchdown! How in the world did he do that? Coach Mangini coming from the Belichick tree, and every time they play Coach Belichick, you know, they want to show that the student is going to beat the teacher. Hillis, he the tackle. Nice throw for Peyton Hillis! Coach Mangini said, we're going to run you. Hillis, nice hole on the left side, turning his legs. And we're going to keep running you. Spins off! Until the wheels fall off. Start for the Cleveland Browns. They knew we were going to run the ball. I mean, they were stacking 10 guys in the box, and you know, at that point, they couldn't stop it. Keep it on the ground. Hillis. Open field for Peyton Hillis. And he's close to a first down. And it was only like a three yard run, but a nickel back came up and lowered my shoulder and hit him, and then ran a couple more yards and fell down. And he got up and said, Man, I think you broke my sh. And once he said that, you know, I was thinking, you know, if this guy's feeling it, then I guess the rest of the guys are too. So you try to take advantage of that. McCoy lost it to Hillis, an athletic catch and a first down. How many big running backs that are 250 pounds can you put out there as a wide receiver and make this kind of catch on the sidelines? 131 yards after the pickup of 15. 131 on the day for Hillis. Give it to him again. Wow. Running room of the ends. Peyton Hillis is loose. Split to the end zone. Touchdown. And this has been a overwhelming performance by the Cleveland Browns. Stunning developments here in Cleveland. 34 to 14. I'm shaking everybody's hand, you know, across the field afterwards. And Coach Bill Belichick came over and he shook my hand and he was like, that was the best damn job that I've seen in a long time. You know, that, that meant something. And they need a couple of yards for the first. Hillis picks up about four yards on the carry. People from Madden I went on ESPN and went on uh, their website and said, you know, we're gonna pick the best player off of each team and we're gonna pick the Madden cover that way. So we give everybody a fair shake. And at that point, Browns just kind of rallied behind because they looked at the season I had. They showed their love for me. I think it was something to where they had a glimpse of hope, something to be proud of. You had 32 guys. Every time that I would see myself against you know, somebody, I was like, well, I'm not gonna win that. And then you would win and, and you would keep winning and then you would get to somebody like Aaron Rodgers or you get somebody like Matt Bryan. I, I was like, how do I win this? There's no way I win this unless by the you know Cleveland Browns and all their fans. The last week of the voting ended up being me and Michael Vick. And we're sitting there to see who is going to be announced to pick. And I even went up to him. I was like, listen, man, no matter what happens, I think you should be on this cover. And he goes, man, it doesn't matter. After I ended up winning, I'm thinking to myself, they got to be kidding me. You know, because I didn't belong there. I didn't. I was kind of fearful because I kind of knew what the backlash would be if I was on it, and that's what was scary. You know, I never was a guy that wanted to be in the limelight. As a kid, you know, you look at all these people in NFL and just almost idolize them. And, uh, you know, I was at that point, you know, you're on a video game. Knocks over a defender, and he's still going. Touchdown, Cleveland. People are playing you, people know who you are. Leg still turning. Wow, he is so tough. I don't think I probably deserved it. There's a lot of better players out there than me that year, but for the Browns community, for the Browns family, I represent it well. I'm very blessed to have been on the cover because they put me on it, and I'll wear that on my shirt and be proud of it to the day I die.